all right now family so here we are again in the heavenly court room of abba yehovah with this powerful message already titled for you and me right at part one yuri one of paris is a minister of grave flash that link of fire trinity so family case i shared this in the news feed and you haven't listened to one and two i just encourage you to do that in for a better understanding well yeah it is very much possible you come in contact with this part three and you don't know what took place in 192 so it will be better go and listen to 192 in order for you to understand this very part three so right now uh, there is a scripture i still need to you know deal with prior to part two okay about this three uh, deity yuri is ministering unto people or the uh Three dead women. She is propagating unto people. So here's the point two. The point one goes like this. Uh, where is it? Uh, all angels are masculine. Fem no female angels. Mm -mm, they are all male. Angel, okay? No female. So the point two is like this. Who, who are the three dead women? Yuri is seeing in a vision or propagating unto people. So that is the one we are almost done. Listen to part two in order for you to understand this. So the place that needs to read now, it is uh, Daniel 7 and Revelation 4. So we are dealing with now the third angel. The angel that mask up themselves, masquerade themselves, disguise themselves as women. That is what we are listening to part two. This is awesome. And this is powerful. Listen to part two. Okay. The angel that masquerade themselves as women first time, only in one place, right from Genesis to Revelation, only in a particular place, we saw it. It, it, it was a disguising. In other words, we know woman is a ministry. Let's see, to, to no need to be recording everything over, the he, uh, over here again. All right? So I will put the illustration for the picture, for you to see the, the three deity. We are speaking, the very one that is revealing themselves unto Yuri, as, as alias or aka idia niyesigi idenokoho and the emota no kawekeba let me show you who are they for a better understanding or better illustration i put the very one yuri is propagating this is idia niyesigi this is uh idenokoho also and this is emota no kawekeba i don't know i'm just guessing I think so, but I think this is Idia Niyesige, according to her. All right, I don't know these women. I'm not into them. I don't know who they are. I know who they are, excuse me. They are the queens, you know, uh, 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 of uh, adult kingdom, okay? They are dead for very, very long time. These people died even before I was born. So I don't know nothing about them. Only if Yuri is bringing me into all this crap. They die already. Uh, Hebrew 9, 27 said, after they used to face judgment. Okay? So there is no female angel. The one we see, it was deception. In other words, is is acting as a ministry. This You see Yuri, how she is very fought for this folly deity. <laughs> all right, now. Now, go to Zechariah chapter 5. You're going to see these three women over there. So this is the three women Yuri is seeing. Okay, so we are very powerful in point two, uh, uh, video clip two. <clears throat> this very one is the Allah, the serpent, the great dragon. The very right hand angel, you see, they are all female, but he said this is wickedness because there is no female angel. This one is Jesus in the Christendom. You know, it's the same spirit, it's the same spirit. Okay, that is one wonder of it. Next week, Shabbat now. The salt, we want to test the spirit of our salt and water. Who gave her that spirit again? Who gave her that prayer? But she said, Dan Yesigi, which is going to be Allah, the very one in the center, because they said that one fought war for Edo. All right, now. So we are dealing with the left one now on the side. You see the ephor? So this is the kind of uh, holies of holies of Abayowa. This is how holies of holies of Abayowa is. Two angel, right now, the song, which is the biblical Messiah, is at the right hand of Abayowa. And the Ruach Hakote, the Holy Spirit, is at the left hand of Abba Yehua. So Abba Yehua sits in the center, the mouse seat. You can see that in Exodus 25, 17 to 23 or so. It's over there. That is the heavenly throne. Okay, it's a bad... Anyone Abba Yehua is a, repl a replica of what we have in the heavenly. It's just a part. It's a, repl a replica. Like um, Romans 1.20 said, the things that is created, the visible things, 
is teaching you and me the invisible. Okay, so that's what it is. So what we is just a replica of what is in the heavenly. So the the devil now said, oh, "I'm also going to make myself like the most high." So this is their own holies of holies now. <laughs> so I want to deal with the very last angel at the right hand. Oh, no, excuse me, the left hand. The right hand is Jesus. You don't see the miracle Jesus is doing. He's naked in the name of Jesus. Go and listen to part two. You don't need to be recording everything over here. So here I am. Now, first of all, I want to show you the holy, the, the last angel. They are the four living creatures. Okay. I want to read it from Revelation. The holy ones. Then I will also show you now the filthy one. The filthy one is what Yuri is seeing. All right. Now, here I am. Revelation. Mm, Revelation. Okay. Uh, four. So, okay. Let's deal with it. Okay, verses 1. Let me quickly. After this, verses 1. After this, I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as, was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Immediately, and immediately I was in the spirit. Behold, a throne was set in the heaven, and one sat on the throne, and he that sat upon was to look upon as a jasper and a side stone, and there was a rainbow round about the throne in a side like unto an emerald, and round about there was uh, tw uh, four and twenty seats, and upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting cloth with uh, with a uh, uh, gamut, uh, white, excuse me, white gamut, and they had on their head crowns of gold, and out of the throne preceded lighty and thunderous and voice, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of Yehovah. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were uh, four living creature full of eyes before and behind and the first beast was like a lion and the second beast like a calf and the third beast had a face as a man and the fourth beast was like a fly eagle and the four living creature each had of them six wings about and they were full of eyes all right now i think i'm going to hang it there all right now you see who they are the four living creatures these are the four seasoning we have here on earth, four seasons of the earth. Okay, three months, um, oh yeah, uh, that's for a uh, spring, because according to biblical, the spring, uh, spring start the new year, the biblical new year. You can see that in Exodus chapter 12, 1, 1 and 2. Now, three months. So the first angel is to carry us all through for three months. Then, when we now enter summer, the second angel will take over. Also carry us again for another three months. When we now enter four autumn, another angel will take over for uh, carry us again for three months. So when we now enter winter, the one they also call Abata in Nigeria, the fourth angel will not carry us for three months. That is why the biblical calendar and time clocking is so accurate. It is 30 days in a month. We don't have 29 or 31. That is madness. That is chaos. That is confusion. That is paganism. That is the very one this one is giving. Now, I've read the holy ones. So, let's go to the holy ones now. In Daniel. The whole thing started in Babylon. And the base of this <coughs> three Igbe Wedja, <coughs> it's uh, uh, Sh uh, Shana. Go and read Ezekiel, uh, excuse me, Zechariah chapter 5. They are over. They say her base, it will be. That he's going to build her a house over there at Sana. Where is Sana? It is Babylon, the city of Nemrod. Go to Genesis 10. Read from 8 to 11. You're going to see Sana over there. The land of China. Okay? It is where is the base of this folly deity. <laughs> okay, now we go to Daniel chapter 7. <clears throat> Quickly, I read so that we have time again to deal with the very last point. That one is also heavy. <clears throat> okay, I read now. Daniel 7 verses 2. Then Daniel spoke and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea. Listen now. So the four winds of heaven, which is the very calendar of the year, is going to deal with the folly one. Listen now, 3. And four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse from one another. The first was like a lion, and 
and had eagle's wings. I beheld thee the wings thereof was plucked, and it was lifted up. Keep reading. I'm not going to read all. Okay, let me go to the second. Lifted up the earth, and may stand upon the or whatever feet as a man. When you keep reading, you're going to see it is the first season. So we rush down to 25 because there's no room to read everything. Mm -mm. I won't be able to be doing that. I only have space of 47 minutes. All right, now read 25. Listen now. Uh, speaking about these four uh, great beasts, four living ones, okay? They are not living. Four living creatures. The Revelation says four uh, living creatures or four beasts. So these are the four beasts over here. They are the calendar. That is what we are dealing with over here. They give us the time clock. They give us the season. They give us the feast. That is, they, they take, they ushers us. As we are also going to enter into biblical new year now. They are the one to ushers us. Now we are about to celebrate the feast of Puri. This February 24th to 25th. You can see it in Adansa chapter 9. The one you call Esther chapter 9. You're going to see it over there. The victory about your work gave unto us concerning uh, 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 Hema. Return back to sender. So that is the feast at hand that we are about to celebrate. All right. So now, these are the angels that is pointing us into it. The time clock. They are also the angel that is, that is also that is the uh, also the time clock. He said they are full of eyes. Their eyes is the time clock. They watch. They are the time. They are also say watch and pray. Look at the time and pray. <laughs> watch. Watch the whole matter before you pray. So that you will be praying accurately. So that you will be, you will be, you won't be praying. I mean, when you are using the time clock of the Gentile, they said that they start 12 midnight. Where did you get the, where did you get it? How can you enter a day 12 midnight? So when is your midnight day? It should be afternoon. That is a chaos. Okay. That is confusion. <clears throat> now, these angels are also the one that is carrying us into the time clock. They are the 12 hours of the day. They are the 12 hours of the night. To explain the part of the 12 hours of the day, our goes like this. 12 hours of the day. So the 12 hours of the day, they shall sit. Okay, listen now. Three, three hours. Three, three hours. Now, when did the day of Abba Yehua started? Go to Genesis chapter 1. The evening. So as soon as it starts 6 o'clock sundown, one will take stand. And carry carries you not till nine o'clock. Another one will took over. Carry you from nine o'clock to twelve midnight. That's where you get twelve midnight, six hours, twelve midnight. So another one will pick it up from there, twelve midnight, till where three o'clock. The last angel will pick it from three o'clock till where till six in the morning. That is where the new day starts. Then not oh no. Did you get it? That is where the new day starts. That is 12 hours in the day is of the night is over. They will restart again. 12 hours of the night and 12 hours of the day. This is how the biblical time clocking work. We don't have 24 hours. But this one gave you the 24 hours. The very one you already see. The emotor, as a motor not <laughs> Oh, this is deep. Now, I read 25. I read 25. So, as we exposed, the Abba Yehua revealed the vision unto prophet Daniel in the vision. Now what happened? Look what he said. And he shall speak great words. Uh, Daniel, 20, Daniel 7, 25 now. It's all about this folly beast. Creature. Four living creature. Folly beast. <clears throat> Listen now. And he shall speak great words and gaze the most high. And he will wear out the saints of the most high. They wear all us already. Who knows us? Nobody. Only the Christianity, the first group. Is lying in the four corner of the earth, making great business. And the synagogue of Satan. They are all just they are all one spirit. The one spirit that is working with Iuri is also the same spirit that is working with the Christianity, with the Islam, with the synagogue of Satan, with the civil rulers, with the paganism. They are all one spirit. It is light or darkness. There is no three uh components, only two. One light or darkness, that's it. No middle. Mm -mm. Now <coughs> Oh, a pastor called Pastor David. He lives in Netherlands. He pastor at Redeemed Church in Rotterdam. He confirmed the ministry of Yuri. He said God told him that the ministry of Yuri is of him. He is the one who gave Yuri. But Yuri never said God gave her the sort of water prayer. But he said, it yes again. So that is where you also lie. You told a white lie. We are going to pull hand. In fact, your hand is going. To, your eyes going to be blind. You will be struck blind. You that call yourself. He said he's King David. Who gave you that king? 
uh, later it was, it's, first of all, it says Pastor David. Before we know it, it says King David. You that wanted to kill your wife for rituals, ritualist, you push her from the sorry beauty to die. We will deal with you next week, Shabbat. Man, man. So in the same spirit, it says the same. It said that God confirms it unto Jesus confirms it to yeah, so Of course, I know. It's, I'm not. It's, I'm. It, it's, I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm not moved. I'm not perplexed at all. Mm -mm. Because I knew it's one spirit. Listen at 25. And he shall speak great words against the most high, and shall wear out the saints of the most high. And think, listen, and think to change times and laws. He did it. The reason why he said he think to do that, that is, he is not going to utterly succeed eternal. He's going to do it for a certain period of a time, just as the same language or metaphor Yahushua also used in Matthew 24 24. He said, if it is possible, they will deceive the elect. So we see it is not utterly possible for the elect to be deceived. But they will be deceived in a certain period of time, like I was once deceived, being in the Kovum, keeping Sunday, the day of sun, the day Babylon used to worship the ghost and wood, and the Fali Shabbat that means my eternal rest. What? It hurts me so bad. You see, so it's going to think, change it. That is why he gave it 24 hours. That was why he said your mid, you enter new day, 12 midnight. So now where is your midnight? 12 in the afternoon. This is how you turn your lives upside down. So it's not working. It's, it's, it's confusionalist everywhere. So let's now go to the point three. Hmm? So this is the mysteries of these three dead women. Yuri is revealing or, or connecting you to. The very one that gave her the prayer point of salt and water. Follow up next week, Shabbat. One of lay hammers upon that wicked animal that called himself Pastor David. I'm going to... Your eye, you're going to be struck with, with blindness. I'm going to pull eye, pull the right hand of Abba you want in your two eyes. You'll be blind. You're going to be struck blind for you to come and confirm this wickedness with the royal law. That hurts me. You should have used a guega. Now, Iyore is not reading no Bible. So what is Iyore reading before you? What is the, what, where did she get her authority? Anyway, she got it from these three dead people. She is not reading Quran. She is not reading the Bible. She is not reading Kabbalistic. No Babylonian Talmud, no Zohar. This is a religious book. Quran, that governor Islam. Kabbalistic, Zohar, Babylonian Talmud, that governor the synagogue of Satan in the Holy Land today. And Bible governor us. Even though Christianity, yeah, Christianity read Bible, but they are not doing what is inside Bible. But govern, they carry Bibles. So which one is Yuri carry? What is she, what is she reading to you? Uko Kogo, the Kalabash Cup. It hurts me to see that learned people is under this illiterate. Eh? It hurts. It hurts me. You are abusing your your your, 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 your education. You are just abusing that time you spend in school. You are abusing it because you are not utilizing it. You are acting like a village people. You are acting like illiterate that doesn't even know how to spare art. You can't even write art. Learned people reduced to that loaf of bread level. You are, you, are, you, are, you are just abusing all the years you spend in school. That is what, that is what, I, what I have for you. For you to sit down. Okay, what is, she, what, what, what is she leading you to? Only salt and water. In fact, point three. We have so much to also deal with in this very part. Point three goes like this. Iyori is a minister of grave. Flash link of fire. So right now, I want to see what that is. Hmm? So the... Point three, almost like the title. So one will unveil how is she now a minister of grace? You see now from the point one. All angels are male, no female. Okay, they are masculine, no feminine. Point two, we see the three dead women. Yuri is propagating unto people the mystery behind it. We see they are all dead. So one of all of us see what is death in order for us to get the better understanding what she's ministering unto you in this very last segment. All right, now here I am. Look. 15 24 I read for this son for this my son was dead and is alive again he was lost and he is found and they began to be uh, they began to celebrate you see now what is death is separation from Abba Yehovah this prodigal son separated from his father that is played the part of Abba Yehovah okay he is separated from his father so that brings that means death when you separate from the one that brought you into existence, that means death. So these three deity, yours is propagate. We see what that is already. 
So they're, they're separate. As soon as they say, Abi Yawa cast them out of his presence. Now they are right over here in this earth. But the final judgment, they will be cast into the link of fire. You can see that in Revelation 20. Okay, 10 to 15. It means separation. When you separate from Abba, you, even though you live, you are dead already. Your spirit is already in the pit already. You are know, again, Revelation 3, 1. And unto the angel of the congregation in the side is right. This thing saith he that hath the seven spirits of Yehovah and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. You have a name. You are saying, oh, I'm alive. Like Yoru, she is dead already. How? Because you separate from the biblical. You separate from the author of life. That means death. He said you have a name. You are saying you live. Send me why you are dead already. So you, you are dead already. Why is he here on earth? Because you separate from the author of life. And where is your spirit? That is, right. that is how Abba Yehovah revealed it unto me. This was a thing that was being done urgently. If you see how Abba Yehovah pulls out the, his own people in the graveyard of this woman, it was so urgent. How? Why? Because they are all already in the pit, about to be cast to the down of feet, to the ends of it. Now, I was in this vision. He said, come and lose my people from bondage. He just used a very mighty uh, 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 chain. It was a huge, big chain. She used it to chain all her followers. They were on bands. They were on chain. Because as soon as you agree with the administration, you will be banned. You will be chained. You will be arrested. So they were all, many uncountable. The world was so broadly. Matthew 7 said that brothers they were 13. Why did they get that list of destruction? He said many has already gone through it. Now is the get that list to have only few people found it. So the crowd, this woman was just, they are so huge. Broadly way, it was a broadly way. And no one was free on his own. They were all be chained. Walking just one direction straight to the pit. It was just a kind of a urgent. I rode with a heavy speed. As they were about to fall into the pit, the down of the pit, because when you enter the down of the pit, you come no, you cannot come out anymore. Now, let's say pit, this pit is gonna be having about three layers. But these people of Yehuwa, they are already in the first and second layers. Now, just one la last layer has to go. That is the domination. After death is to face judgment. Now he said, Come and lose my people from destruction. I, I take race. I run so speedily, so swiftly, with all my heart. When I come there, I command the chains to be broken. Some are, they are already in the second layers. Some was on the first layers. And some was about to enter the first layers. And it was just only 10 people. That is what I don't understand. It was just only 10 people. It just marked them. You have yeah, mark you for salvation. It is written on their forehead. I'm back for salvation. I'm marking for salvation. Only 10 people. Wow! Then when, when I saw it, said, this is how you're going to know my own. I read, I, it's written on their forehead and mark it with salvation. So when I saw a one like that, I would just pull hand. I command the chains to, I say, be broken by the blood of Yehovah. The chains will be loose. He, him, a law will come out from there. Then he will chain all the, all the other ones together again. This was how I did it with a heavy race. Now, not all ten was in the chain. Some is already in the second uh, second pits about to enter the very last of it or whereby when you go there you don't come out now he says his own is the one that is going to come out from the first that was how he make it from the first and second layers in the pit now the one that is already in the second pit I called them by the name of Yehovah I said if you are being called by the name of Yehovah I command you not to come out from the end and come out from the second pit and the first pit and climb up this ladder that is being called Yahushua. All of a sudden the ladder just appeared straight to the second, the first and the second layers in the pit. And I even see my own son <laughs> coming out from there. My only son. What? And I said, what is that? He said, yes. He used my son as an illustration. Because the last of that one, uh-uh, we are fighting, we are dragging. Today we say yes to Abba Yehovah. Tomorrow your spirit will drag him. <laughs> because they are all wicked deity. The authority of Yuri, as I said, I mean to say. He just came and said, oh, this is my only son. When I saw him in the second pit, 
He says, use it as an illustration. His own son right in the pit. I said, what? My own son in the pit? What? My only son? He said, yes, just he used it as an illustration. <laughs> That the people that is so dear unto him, I have only so. Do you know what it is to have so? Just one? Huh? He says, so he used that as an illustration. As my son is so precious to me. So are these people you are already led into destruction. They are precious to him. Command them. Well, I see myself. Command that. Oh, the ladder appeared. Then I climbed this ladder. My son, I climbed this ladder. Ten, only ten people came out. So I don't know what that is. That could be the field that is going to be safe. Majority go down. And they were all crying as they were being, you know, Nobody helped them. Even the other one was also crying. But they, you, salvation is not given unto you. So he said, those are their men. It's your family, so you have to go with them. Now, after that, as I was also coming, and I came and, and met some women. They put the picture of these three dead people inside the bowl. They want to shower. And I said, don't do it. You are using your blood. This is blood ritualist. This is blood ritualist. Don't do it. Don't do it. The water was first of all white. As soon as they put the three, these three dead people picture, it turned blood. He said, this is the causes the Yuri is laying upon them. Every night, anyone she prone into it, this is the causes she's releasing upon it. This causes of death. You're just going to use your own blood. You, your blood is going to share upon your own head. You're going to die and your blood is going to be upon your own head. That is the causes the Yuri is laying lay upon them. You see that as a prayer? Yes, he said what? The devil can masquerade himself as an angel of light. If the devil come to you and say, I'm the devil, you're going to run away. But wherever he come to you now, I'm a messiah. You're going to listen. That is the deceitfulness. That is the masquerading power. He masquerade in prayer. But meanwhile, it is because she is laying on you people. That is what it is. Now, let's, let's put some scriptures. You don't see the kind of hairstyle she is doing. Only on his sango and on her local is doing that in Nigeria. Okay, in Nigeria. In Bini precisely. All these Abalis people that is worshipping voodoo, Abalis that is making voodoos, you know, they are the one that is making hair like this. Those ones, they will leave, they are to be dread. They will not come and put all this bill, they call some cow ring. They are the one doing exactly what this demon is also doing. What else do you want? What else? No, this provokes my spirit to see that people is under this craft. This one is very easy to fish out. Excuse me. Very, very simple. Isaiah 8, 19 to 20. 20 said, 19 said, why, that is why consulted the dead for the living. He said, why should people should consult the dead for the living? Huh? Why? Luke 24, verses 5, I'll be verses 4, no 5. He said, why seek ye the living among the dead? Why is Yuri praying to people through the pictures of the dead people? Why? Messiah said, let the dead bury their own dead. That is, the dead cannot subscribe for the living. The dead is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The day you touch that tree, you shall surely die. And that is the deity that is working with Iyuri. Like we unveiled already the three deities she is seeing. She is seeing the one which is the serpent. She is seeing the other one which is the devil. She is seeing the other one which is the time clocking. And I unveiled that one powerfully right at part two. Why, why are you hanging people in the tree of destruction again? Yahushua was the, is the tree of life eternal. The biblical Messiah he was hanged on the tree for you and me to be saved. Now why is Yuri leading people to the tree of the knowledge of good and evil again? To go and be taken from that wickedness? To be a partaker of the dead people, having fellowship with the dead people? She don't call no... She always called Idian Yesige this and that. Idian Yesige gave her the prayer point. Idian Yesige is revealing herself to all these followers of Iyuri. I'm hearing it from their useless testimony. So that will be next to Wisha, but we'll dig into that testimony. We'll release Hama again. Iyuri is good at all kinds. We will release, lay hands upon her again. So next week is for salt and water. That Idian Yesige also gave unto her. We're going to let you know what that is also. But this is your, it's very simple to expose. I don't know why people, when I, the highest of our views, we had 20,000. Say, what? And this has to do with a video that has seven hours to eight hours. What? Okay, now the other place, I, I didn't quote it. Okay, Luke chapter 9, 59 to 60. It said, let the dead bury their own dead. The living don't have no business with the dead people. Let the dead people go and be doing 
I have a business, fellowship with the dead people. Now you bring that of the living into the midst of you, the dead people. These are all dead, even though they live, but they are dead already. Mm? Because separation from Abba simply means death. All right, now let's read from the accounts of the book of Yashir. So this popular, popular royal law we carry make references in different occasions to the book of Yashir. You can see that in the second Samuel 1 verses 80. You can also see that in Joshua chapter 10 verses 30. You can also see that in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 8. They point us back to the book of Yashir. 2 Timothy point us back in this manner. Jambres, Janis and Jambres. The sons of, uh, what they call his name? Bala. How they withstood Moses. If you want to get the full account, you can. You will go now to the book of Yashir. I think chapter 78. I'm going to say how they make life miserable. <laughs> because they were abalist. Like what, what Yuri is doing now. He's making life miserable. Leading our people into destruction. So right, I want to read from the account of the book of Yashir. 31 verses. You can take it from 37 if you have it to 43. But now I'm starting ready from, from 40. I read. And let us see the dead people this woman is using to pray for people. It's here. And this is the vision I get from Babylon. Where we were living Babylon. And the gods of Babylon is the dead people. <laughs> Listen to one and two. I read now. And Ra Raquel, the one you call Rachel. And Raquel stole her father's images. And she took them. And she concealed them upon the camel upon which she sat. And she went on. And this is the manner of the images in taking a man who is the firstborn slay him and taking the hair of his head and taking salt and sorting it listen next we're gonna deal with the soil and water <laughs> take his sword do you know what what is what what, what, what what were they doing that would take the firstborn yahushua is the first from the death we we'll see the first born from the dead. You can also see that in Revelation chapter 1, 3 verses 5 also. Okay. So this deity said, I'm also going to make myself like the most star. So you also command, just as they command the Eden Okoko to go and die for the sins of a door. How can that be you sinner? You want to die for sinner? That is law. That is another lie told by the wicked spirit. The same spirit that is ministering, ministering to Yuri. Now they will take the first born of the house, cut off his head. They will sort that head. And that is going to be giving the prophecy. The dead people. The dead ministry. Ministry from the grave. That is the third point. So let's keep reading. Alright now. Should I take it again? Yeah, 31. 41, excuse me. And this is the manner of the images in taking a man who is the firstborn and slay him and taking the hair of his head and taking salt and sorting the head and anointing it in oil then taking a small uh, tablet of copper or a tablet of gold and writing the name upon it and placing the tablet under his tongue and taking the head with the tablet under the tongue and putting it in the house and lighting up lights before it and bowing down to it. Then I begin to worship a dead man head. And at the time, 42, and at, and at the time, when the bow down to it, he speaketh to them in all matters. In all matters that they ask of it through the power of the name which is written in it. Israel is always calling it a tinica. These are the names. The name of the dead people. Hmm? You're invoking upon the people of the book. You can't invoke it. You know, let me let, let me be clear. If you recommend and say she's a ballist, uh, do I have a time? Rather, I'm also going to be praying for her because that will be considered a lost sheep. But don't tell them you are from Yehovah. Don't tell them you are bonding. Eh, 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 you are going to heaven. Eh, 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 eh. It's free. Eh, 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 eh. God sent it to come and help her. Does she want to fix her? Does she have not yet fixed her wombo? She has not yet fixed her life. She's taking another women's husband. This man has two men, two women, right in the same Paris where she, this woman lives. They all have children by him. You snatch the man away because now you are making money from the online, you know, to be pumping for Iboma. You can't even fix your life to have your own husband. I'm a woman with four kids, three girls, one boy. I will never consent to that level if I decide to marry to go and marry a man that has wife for what? I rather die single than doing that. 
You can fix your life. You say you want to fix a dog problem. You are mad. You are insulting me as an adult person. Nonsense. Now you see, I said this dead head is going to be speaking to this. It's going to be giving, in other words, going to be giving prophecy. It's going to be giving vision. This is the one that is communicating with Yuri. This is what she's invoking upon you all. I take it again, 42. And at that time, when they bowed down to him, he speaketh to them in all matters that they ask of it through the power of the name which is written in it. 43. And so, make them in the figure of man. <laughs> it should not make it now in the figure of man. In the fig figure of flesh. He said, if you don't pray to these three people, she said, this is going to be difficult for difficult for you as an adult person. How me pray to the dead people? You're, I'm going to slap this woman, eh? This woman needs to be, you know, she needs to, to, to be taught, not to be taught out of this man, but to be taught into her destruction. You need correct beating, eh? eh? Because you are mad. You say that you are insulting the whole Edo. Is everyone a pagan idol worship? You don't know there is a believer that prayed to the Most High, the one that goes to the grave, eh? come out after 72 hours, that died for my sin right at the cross 2,000 years ago. You are insulting me if you are said for me to go and be praying for people that died and never resurrected. In fact, I bet your wife is going to struck you with leprosy. This is what I'm declaring upon you now. You will be struck. This is your judgment. You will be struck. It's going to return back to you in seven ways. You will be struck in the struck in the bed of affliction for a whole seven years. From the beginning of the eighth years, eight years, you will die in your iniquity and your own blood is going to be upon your head in Yahuwah's smiting. That is your judgment. You will come in one way. You will go back to it in seven ways and you will be struck down for a whole seven years. No pastor will be able to heal you. No, no, no doctor will be able to heal you. No abalist will be able to free you. You will suffer in your bed of affliction for a whole seven years. At the beginning of the eighth, you will die in your own blood. It will be upon your own head in Yahuwah's mighty name because you insult me as an adult person. You should have risen too well and understood that there are people that carry Bibles. You don't carry Bible. Why must you be saved if I mean don't pray for huh? These three dead people are the pillar that hold the door. What? In fact, you provoke my spirit. I'm praying against you. That is what I'm doing here now. That is what I'm also doing on your behalf. Because you are a wicked deity. Like I said, I had given testimony to St. Pen. They struck me. They attacked my leg. I can't even if you see my leg is swelling. I can't even walk. But you cannot hold my mouth not to speak. I say speak. And after this, by the power of the royal Hakodesh, that nonsense is going to be. You are the one to be struck. Because the curse are laid upon you. That is what they are using to attack me. Me not to walk. You are a liar. <laughs> not just to walk. I'm going to put 12 inches heel on my leg. And begin to jump a higher fence. And you're going to see it in those light. If you come with the Bible, I'll, ah, me, I will love you so much. If you appreciate the way I'm preaching, oh, my sister, I will love you so much. Eh? If you, as long as you talk about Bible, I will be calling you, oh, my sister, oh, my sister. There are one sister in YouTube like that. She's an adult woman. She's talking. She's talking. Wow. I run after her. She run after me. So they will speak as family. Because she's speaking the mind of Abbey Yehua. You are speaking the mind of destruction. So with that, you're going to be receiving curses through the name of Abbey Yehua. You say you are from Yokorion. Huh? You are talk, talking trash. I'm also from Yokoriovo in the Wesi. And what does that have supposed to mean? What does that have to do if you are not carrying the word of Abbey Yehua? I don't care. Even though the witch is in the family, she's the same mother with me. Eh? I'm praying against her. I'm praying for her destruction. Talk less of you. We are doing I'm from Yokoriovo. So, from a Wega. I'm from a Wesi. So, my own sister, the same mother, not the same father. I'm praying for her destruction. Go and listen to all my videos. Think we are playing. It says, Suffer not a witchcraft for a living. I'm not going to tolerate anyone that uttered witchcraft because it's going to be released upon your head. I won't tolerate none of you anymore. Now, verses 43, the end of it all. And they say, Make them in the figure of men, of gold and silver, and go to them in times no to them. Like what I said, in time they have a set time. If you're a set time, it's being given unto her with the left hand female deity. Now female anyway, you know what it is by now. Well, you know the mysteries over there already. Now, that is the angel that gave her the time to start the wicked witchcraft. Now, before we normally see witchcraft in their oracle tree, the, we were there confessing in the back of the house, in the planted tree, or in the feces, the doors being, that is where they do their gathering. 
But now they are doing see me, see you right on Facebook. See me, see you. Now witchcraft coven is right on Facebook. If you will start that ministry witchcraft for six uh, six thirty, if you will end it, what time? Huh? Sometimes they say they finish three o'clock. She finished three o'clock. Sometimes I say four. Some say two. Depends. I say one. What? That is witchcraft gathering. That is witchcraft. In the time knows unto them. Yeah, they are giving her the set time. That set time it is prophetic from the pit of hell. Silver and gold. Okay, it's time not unto them. And the figures receive the influence of the stars. These are the folly stars, and taught them future things. And in this manner were the image which Rachel stole from her father. You see, he said the dead head re received influence from the stars. We know angel is being called stars. Okay? And we see the fallen angel. When you go to Revelation 10, you're going to see a great star fell. Revelation now we also see a great star fell. Luke 18, 10. Uh, Luke 10, 18. We also see uh, Satan also fall like a light star fell from heaven. Okay, these are the folly deities. They are the one that is backing up the image of the head, like all these three images is presenting, you know, to, to be initiating people into destruction. It means an initiation. They are initiating you, initiation into the land of destruction. Now, woman as a ministry, you see now how Iyori is bearing fruit, fruits onto this date, folly deity. He has a lot of popular, a, a, a lot of viewers. And this is how she initiated them into the land of destruction. Now we also see this attitude right in 1 Samuel chapter 28. Let me be sure. You can go and just read it. We see the dead over there also communicating with humans. Yeah. Go and read it. And these are the miracle powerfully we are seeing the Christian done today. I die. Jesus cast them into the pit, which is the, the linda. Jesus, uh, they tortured them in the pit. And Jesus now said, don't wear trousers. Don't make up. Don't use perfume. Don't relax your hair again. Don't use gold. This is the top story miracle of the Christianity. It's the same spirit walking in different denominations. It's your in another way. It is Christianity denomination. It's just one spirit walking in different form. That's it. There's no different at all. But in your way, you are total man. I have to give this credit again to the Christian. Though. You are total man. You are not afraid to even, you know, to... to, to to, to even raise your filthy voice again against the Christian pastors. The Christian pastors carry Bible. They never carry Calabash cup. They read Bible. If all Christian pastors have to be like you, therefore no one can even find a way to heaven. Those who carry Bible, but they are not doing what Bible said. That is their own problem. They are doing what you said, like what you are doing. But see, they carry Bible, they read Bible. So what would be, you know, you know, we, 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 we understand, okay, this is the book. Okay, me also want to read for myself. That is how I know that they, they, are, they are total Jezebel. But still, they never bring Kokogo to me. They never bring uh, dead people pictures to me. No, they carry Bible. They are not reading, but they are not doing what the Bible says, but they carry it. So if all Christians has to be like you, therefore no one will go to heaven. If all Christians have to be preaching with dead people pictures with the calabash cup, no one will enter heaven. So you will not afraid to even throw your filthy voice at them, even though they are the highest criminal on earth. But see, you don't have the right to speak against them. Because you're always the worst element so far I've ever met in this religion in my entire world. You're always the worst. Islam is coming for you, okay? So this is the same spirit that is working in Christendom. Their highest miracle, you know by now, they died. Jesus said, and just said, don't make up. <laughs> they entitled the bottomless pit. We are bad. Luke 16, 19, way down to the end said, there is a great gulf. When you enter there, you can come out. You can come out. You see, it is not possible for the people of the book to enter the very bottomless pit, which is the third layers. When you go there, you don't come out. So the one that was still having salvation, they were in the first and second. In the mosques of Abbey, they, in fact, it was still written on their head. And mark you for salvation. You see, those who they can't enter the bottomless pit. When you go there, you can't come out. Okay, so it's the same spirit in different dimension. In Matthew 7, 30 to 70 said, Broad is the way, and wide is the gate. That leads to destruction. Many people has already found it already. So right now, I want to see the link of fire. Because this Iyuri is, is making the road to be even more broader. Let's see Nadana enlarge the link of fire. Here I am, Isaiah 5, 14. Therefore, he hath enlarged herself and opened her mouth without mention. And their glory and their multitude and their palm and in 
and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. So now it is another hell, enlarging her belly through the ministry of Yuri. You said that of the Christianity is not enough. You, the devil now also opened another devil, you know, branches, denomination in another form. You are making her to be enlarging her mouth. Before you start, you will play your worldly song and play all your nonsense Christian song. You miss it all together. You think you are rejoicing. No, you say you are descending. And majority of your followers, they are descending as well. Only the few in, among you. Many are called few as choosy. You see, you have 20,000 of you. We only get 10. I don't know what that is. I'm still trying to know what that is. If it is a figure of speech, I don't know. Ten, just 10 people. I don't know what that is. <laughs> now you can read Revelation 20, 10 to 15. Let me start from 13 for the sake of time. And the sick gave up the dead which were in it, and the death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death and, and death and hell were cast into the link of fire. This is the second death. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the link of fire. This is where you are leading people into. You're always going to be double punishment. Matthew 25, 41. Then shall he say also unto them on the left hand, these are the goats, okay? Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. So the one that will mark for destruction, those are the, like Yuri, let me be using her. She is prepared for the devil and for the link of fire. So that is why she is ministering the dead people unto you. So family, this is the mystery of the three dead people Yuri is ministering unto you. Now, stay into the next week, Shabbat. We are done. Stay into the next week, Shabbat. I want to unveil the mystery of our sort. And that man, pastor, call himself Pastor David in Rotterdam, that is pastor at the Redeemed Church, that man's eyes will be blind. Two of his eyes are going to be blind. For you to come and confirm this nonsense with our Bible, you are a gunner. So we are done. I bet you will be, to, to you be all glory. And I just bless Abba Yewa for the 10 people that came out from this destruction of a Yuri. I thank you, Abba Yewa. You are awesome. You are powerful. In your mighty name. O Sabuye was confessing unto a Yuri. O Sabuye now said to a Yuri, I'm going to save you for the rest of my life. You? Oh, no. Anyway, I bless Abba Yewa for the people of the book. They've not, but they turned their turn, okay? That are already being saved. So, Abba Yewa be all glory. So, that will be next week, Shabbat. I want to test our testimony. Next week, Shabbat is to test our salt and water. Family, stay in tune. Shabbat Shalom. And receive the blessing of the Most High of Eternal Salvation. That's all we are declaring over here. That's what we are propagating. That's what we are bringing people into.